guys, it's my face again! This is setting a terrible precedent. Everyone's gonna expect me to do weird things on camera now. Excuse me while I drink some Snapple Crack. Drink one balanced Snapple a day. Snapple's not even paying me for this. Do you realize how annoying it is to put on makeup on the weekends? I just want to chat for a second about how proud I am of all you YouTubers for your comments on my last video. Excuse me while I go off tangent like all other YouTubers and talk about a video for 5 minutes that you didn't click on. There were less than 10 idiots who commented negative stuff on my American Pride Nails video. Can't say the same for Instagram. I swear, every time I read through my Instagram comments, I get stupider. Now back to today's video. So many people think that you need to be creatively endowed and have blessed artistic fingers from birth in order to be an amazing nail artist. But you never are, right? Well, I got good news for you. Fun fact number one, half the fun of nail art is pretending that you're a talented snooty artist. I got two techniques to show you today that work real nice in one nail art design. And I'll show you how you can fake it till you make it. Technique number one, painting. Ever wonder why it is that some nail artists can paint the tiniest of details and the straightest of lines on their nails? And you're just sitting there making a big mess of your nails thinking, But I don't understand, they told me in grade school that not even great artists could paint straight lines. Your teacher has lied to you. Now, here's how you can pretend to be a nail artist who can actually paint. Hire a tiny leprechaun. Oh, hello there. Could you please paint my nails? Become a French person. Une fois que je deviendrai française, je serai excellente à peinturer mes ongles. Buy those fancy expensive brushes that all the talented nail artists use. Guys, I got the pure color 10. And the Just Nail 24 Dance Brush. Once you buy these brushes, they will give your hands magical powers and super French abilities. Just tell everyone you could freehand paint if you wanted to, but that you prefer to use more abstract methods to challenge your artistic abilities. Because you defy the normal interpretation of artists, so you can express the deeply conflicted nail artist inside of you. Instead of freehand nails, you do more challenging things, like complex gradients, the art of the vinyl, and the singular placement of a colony of glitters. Oh wait, those are all my tricks. Don't overcomplicate things and try and paint realistic portraits on your nails. Just paint silhouettes. This is a silhouette. So is this. And this. It's easy enough to just paint an outline of something and then color it in with black. Then you can act all like, that's the effect I was going for. It's the art of the shadow, haven't you heard? Once you paint your shadow art, Use a toothpick to erase all your mistakes and shape whatever mess you just drew into something that makes sense. Technique number two, dry brushing. This is one of those kinds of art where you can literally make a complete mess of everything and call it abstract art. Meanwhile, everyone's like, oh my god, they are so creative. Similar to the concept of iCat nail art where you just scribble and call it art, Dry brushing means painting like a two-year-old who ran out of paint. I'm pretty sure that's how dry brushing was invented anyways. Some French mural painter was probably like, Sheet, sheet, guys, I ran out of paint, and I must finish painting the king. So to preserve the paint, he just filled up the brush with a tiny bit of paint at a time, and then changed the course of history for artists everywhere. Bam, made up history lesson brought to you by me. Now that we've covered two realistic options and how you can pretend to paint and actually succeed at it, let's watch an actual nail tutorial, shall we? Check out these funky nails. This is what you're going to learn to create. I'll be using all the colors of the rainbow and white polish. As always, I use my favorite white polish as a base coat. This was the winner of my white polish games video. You can watch at that link in the left hand corner. Now I'm going to apply some Simply Peel, which is a definite must for all people pretending to be nail artists because you can be messy with it. You can't find this stuff in stores, guys. You can only find it online. I put the link to my favorite shop below. Let's start with Art for a 2-year-old. This is what dry brushing looks like. 
my brush is kind of dry. To get your brush like that, just take out the polish brush and wipe off the excess polish on the edge of the bottle. To get it even drier, you can go crazy on a piece of paper. Now that I've got little to no polish on my brush, just start lightly swiping it towards the base of the nail. Both directions, horizontal and vertical, or whatever you want, doesn't really matter. If your brush was accidentally too wet, just take a toothpick and pick away at some of the paint. Orange comes next in the rainbow. Repeat the same technique of barely painting your nail. I like to kind of overlap the colors a little bit so it looks like a dry brush gradient. The only time you'll ever see me using yellow on my nails is in a rainbow. Why is this called posh? There's nothing posh about this green Revlon. Especially with that dangly bastard. Do 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 do. I'm painting like a two year old. I hate when this happens. Stupid cap. I forgive the defective cap because this blue is so pretty. This is one of those times when a red-toned blurple looks nothing on camera like it does in real life. Mm, yeah, feel the peel. Ugh, it peels so good. I have a confession to make. You know what this is. I've been in the closet for a while, and I feel like I should probably share with you that I, Christine of Simply Nailogical, am a hollow sexual. I can't help it, I'm addicted. Mm, yeah, it's a rainbow on rainbow. Oh my god, that makes it a double rainbow. This is my favorite hollow top coat. Menchie put the link in the video description box below for you. Mommy, I love hollow. I want to paint my fingernails. Oh my god. Bean toast touching hollow. Add a quick dry top coat because this is key to performing the next step correctly. Let it dry for at least 15 to 20 minutes, but I would probably safely say an hour or two because if you don't, then you could risk picking it up with the toothpick. You'll see next. Part one of how to pretend to paint complete. I wish letters I get in the mail actually came rainbow like this. Even though this rainbow may appear distressed, it's having a gay old time. Take a fancy overpriced paintbrush and dip it in black acrylic paint. I'm just kidding, I'm using a brush from an inexpensive brush pack I got online. Now you're gonna outline your nail with the black acrylic paint. One of the reasons why nail artists tend to use acrylic paint to paint details instead of using actual nail polish, it goes on a lot smoother and you can layer it and it won't get lumpy. If things aren't going that well and your line isn't that straight, don't worry about it because I'm gonna show you the toothpick trick next. Do 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 do, just making my line straighter. Oh look, I can't paint and I made a mess. Wait a couple seconds to let the acrylic paint dry just a bit and then take a toothpick and scratch it right off. Random shape time. I'm using a different, longer striping brush here because striping brushes help you to paint longer straight lines. But it still doesn't mean you're gonna do it perfectly. So just take that toothpick and scratch the black off where you need to. I am painting random lines and shapes that make no sense. Oops, I made that line too thick. Let's add a second line to balance things out. If it weren't for the top coat that I'd added before, I wouldn't be able to just scratch the acrylic paint off with the toothpick. I added another triangle. Okay, I should probably stop now before I cover up all the rainbow. Add a glossy top coat to protect your masterpiece. Now I find that no matter what top coat you use, it tends to sink in kind of weird to the acrylic paint. You can see it's a bit textured. So I always add two top coats when I've painted with acrylic paint. Now my nails will be shiny forever. And there you go, with just two simple techniques, you've learned how to fool everyone into thinking you're an amazing painter. Some of you have been asking for a nail polish collection video, and I will do it one of these days. How about I'll do it when I hit a thousand polishes? Hint, hint, I'm at 800 and something now. This entire shelf is hollow. This is my boring shelf. Be right back, gotta go buy some hollows. Kitty loves hollow. Mommy loves Banshee. Don't bite it, just take it. Thanks so much for watching guys, and while I have you entranced by my cute kitten's face, could you please subscribe to my channel so I can raise money to buy Menchie a quarter of an eighth of a half of a chicken treat. See you next time!